I just made an insane $31,000 running the wheel strategy this week, and I also have 10 students from my last bootcamp who are now averaging $1,787 per week in income. But what makes it stand out and how can you copy this systematic strategy to make consistent returns yourself? The wheel strategy offers a level of security that few other strategies can match. When it comes to investing, I pay very close attention to managing the wheel strategy properly by opening and closing the position correctly. Because if you don't do that, then you're not going to get the big returns with low volatility, which is the whole cornerstone of the wheel strategy. We'll explore how this safety net ensures that your capital remains protected while growing with examples very shortly. Whether you're starting out with a small account, medium account, or you have a large account that you're managing. The wheel strategy adapts seamlessly to your situation. In the wheel strategy, you start by selling or writing a cash secured put option on a stock you wouldn't mind owning at a certain price, which is the strike price. The perfect entry point begins with selecting an appropriate strike price for the put option. Now check this out. Say a stock is at $110 per share. For me, I typically like to choose a low delta. A low delta could be 20 or 23 or 24. If the stock's at 100 10 and you sell a hundred dollar put that means that you can buy the stock for a hundred instead of 110 crazy right ideally you want to choose a strike price that is below the current market price of the stock but at a level where you are comfortably owning the stock if the option is exercised that means if it goes to a hundred dollars per share or lower you're ready to buy it but look that's not a bad thing if you're doing this on really high quality companies say apple amazon google microsoft and potentially tesla because these companies have alpha they've been outperforming the market. They have really good growth rates. And that's the type of stocks that I wanna use for the wheel strategy. If you're doing this on stocks that you already like, this is the most overpowered cheat code strategy that I have on my channel. Now, please, I can't tell you how often my students change their mind. They end up panicking and they sell a stock only for it to go back up instantly. I hate that feeling. And I'm sure you've experienced that feeling for yourselves. So don't get emotional and have a game plan when you get into this option position to begin with. And what I really like about the wheel strategy is when you get in, you're picking a strike price ahead of time so you can decide for yourself. Do I want to own this stock at say $100 per share? You also want to look at fundamental and technical analysis. Now for me, I obviously really like good companies that have a good balance sheet and a good cash flow. And timing is crucial when implementing the wheel strategy. You want to sell the put option when you believe the stock is trading at a fair or even slightly undervalued price. Now, now, again, if you pick a really high delta, then your chances of getting assigned is just way too high. But then again, look at it from the other side of the mirror. If you end up selling at a delta of say eight or nine, yeah, you have so much safety. Of course, you're gonna be winning like over 90% of the time. But here's the thing, I still manage to win 90% of the time by picking a little bit higher delta. And the way I do that is by technical analysis. And also, if you end up selling a very low delta, to be honest with you, there's just not that much premium there. You really wanna dial in that sweet spot, which again, for me is between 20 to 30. Now you can run the wheel strategy on SPX, QQQ, SPY, and other ETFs to make life very simple and easy. I have a monthly list of stocks in my discord. Again, the wheel strategy is a bullish strategy and a bullish strategy means that you want the market to be going up slightly, but I'll tell you the truth with the wheel strategy. If the stock market goes up, you make money. If the stock market goes sideways, you make money. And even if the stock market falls slightly, you're still going to be making money. This is also great for avoiding losses. And if you pick the wrong stocks, you can still do okay because the wheel strategy has a lot of built-in margin. It's also crucial to protect your money and grow it rather than chasing unrealistic results with high levels of risk. And that's something really important that Warren Buffett talks about. That's something important that I learned back in my financial education. I have four different degrees, counting, finance, analytics, and economics. And in my studies, I've really learned that having a margin of safety is so important because you can be wrong about a stock and if it falls down 10%, but you picked an option that's 10% out of the money, that means that you don't get hurt at all. Whereas all the stock investors, they're getting hurt 10%. Can you imagine you're literally getting paid even if the stock goes down? Now, if you work a full-time job or you have a busy schedule, the wheel strategy is great because it's truly passive income. I'm all about living a lifestyle of freedom and not having a boss, not having to work a nine to five job 
and also not being on the computer all day long. The will strategy is so passive. Once you open up this strategy, there's very little management. Now, once I open up a position, I do leave it alone and a few things can happen. Now, number one, the first scenario is the put option expires out of the money or OTM. In this scenario, the stock price remains above the strike price of the put option until the option's expiration date. The put option expires worthless, meaning you get to keep the premium you received when you sold the put. And yes, whenever you sell a put option, that cash is available in your account immediately. You can then proceed to sell another put option for the next expiration cycle to continue generating income. Now, scenario two, the put option expires in the money or ITM and you are assigned the stock. In this case, the stock price has dropped below the put option strike price and you're obligated to buy the stock at the strike price. You will need to use the cash you set aside, which is called collateral to purchase the stock at the agreed upon strike price. This is why if you have a small portfolio, you want to trade stocks that are below $40 per share. Now, scenario three, holding the stock after being assigned. After being assigned the stock, you become the owner of the shares. Those are going to be 100 shares for each contract that you sell. At this point, you can proceed to the next phase of the will strategy, which is selling covered calls against the stock. If the stock is called away, for example, the call option is exercised by the buyer, you will sell the stock at the strike price that you choose. This is where things get really interesting. So say you sell a $100 put and you get assigned. Now that Monday, the stock is actually at $101. Well, what you can do is you've already made a dollar. Now you can sell some covered calls on this position and make more money. If the call option expires worthless or out of the money OTM, you retain ownership of the stock and you can continue selling covered calls over and over again. And if you don't even get exercise on the put that you sold, then you can just keep doing cash secured puts over and over and generating income. Whenever I sell puts, I actually do it on margin. But first you need to get educated and consistent before you use margin because that could be really risky if you don't know what you're doing. So let's talk about scenario number four. The strike price continues to decline after assignment. Now this is pretty dangerous and this can happen, especially in a bear market. You may incur a paper loss on the position. However, you can continue to sell covered calls, which can help mitigate losses and potentially earn you additional income. Now, if the stock does rebound, you can consider selling the stock or just repeating the wheel strategy by selling cash secured puts at a lower strike price. Now, the fifth and last scenario, the stock price rebounds after assignment. Now, this is just awesome, okay? Whenever you get assigned and the stock ends up going up and rebounding, that's the best situation that you can be in. In fact, that's the situation where you can laugh all the way to the bank. Ha 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 ha. All right, so as you can tell, you want to closely study these scenarios. You truly don't need to run any other strategy as the wheel is a dynamic strategy that utilizes selling puts to get into the stock and covered calls to get out. Wheeling stocks will provide you steady income. Cheap stocks are also great because you can deploy a small amount of capital and diversify easily. The win rate on the wheel strategy is almost 100%. If you pick the right companies, at the very worst, you have to give the stock time to recover and you will always be up with this strategy. I'm successfully wheeling Palantir, as you can see, up $269 on the stock and $116 on the options. Now look, notice how my average cost is $15 per share. That's because I got assigned when I sold a 15 put option and now I am wheeling $16 call options. Simple and profitable. Here on Amazon, despite my option being down $369, my covered call position is still up over $1,800. I have clear rules against exiting a losing trade. I want to make profits on all of my sell puts, covered calls that compose the wheel strategy. Now, of course, that's easier said than done, but if you do this properly, you will have a lot more gains than losses, and you will minimize your losses to the point where they won't even hurt your gains that much. Your risk management really has to be at a decent level since a big loss can wipe out a lot of your gains. When selling a put option, pick a strike price that's 5% below the current value of the stock. If it's a volatile stock like Tesla, you'd want to go more out of the money, meaning 10%. 
percent or even higher if it's a very volatile stock which by the way i don't recommend trading the most volatile stocks i like medium amounts of volatility now you need to plan this ahead of time because unlike other strategies the wheel once open isn't the best to adjust you really do want to hold it and do very minimal management however you can definitely adjust it if you have a change of mind on where you want to enter the stock for example say you sell a 95 strike put option planning to enter the stock at that level let's say you have a sentiment change about the 95 strike that you chose what you can do is easily move the 95 strike down to 90. this is where monitoring the position is important there is a difference between monitoring it and having freedom and babysitting and not having freedom i cover in detail in the description this includes tracking the price movement of the underlying stock and assessing the time decay or the theta of the option if the stock price remains above the strike price of the put option you still have a bullish outlook on the stock you may not need to take any action at all in this scenario the put option will likely expire worthless and you will keep the premium you received when you sold the put option you can roll the put option to a later expiration date while keeping the same strike price this allows you to extend the duration of your position and potentially collect additional premium if your view really shifts you can move down by a few strikes and get paid for it it's an unbelievable profitable strategy and during the 2022 correction i had a large position on spy where i lost thirty-one thousand dollars on paper in 30 days i was able to recoup my paper losses by rolling my put lower that was a massive savings i had just like with my recent apple trade where i am running the wheel strategy you can literally see how i bought three thousand shares for 176 dollars and 85 cents a day after selling those shares for 182 dollars and 91 cents all while running the wheel strategy in between making thousands you can see how I decided to actually take profit in the same day on the 170 sell put and i do encourage you to do that if you make a lot of money short term why not take profit i collected three thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars and then i bought it back for three thousand four hundred and thirty dollars that was in one hour making me four hundred twenty dollars very quickly if you want to follow which stocks i pick and watch me trade live this week you can check out my free training before scheduling a call for my discord in the first link below the research i've done while at goldman sachs points to this strategy out performing in tough conditions that's exactly why i tell all of my retirees that this is the best strategy for retirement income it's also the best strategy for growing a small portfolio consistently next to my higher risk golden three strategy which i only recommend to higher risk takers that video is on my channel as well as margin trading if you have any questions shoot them down in the comment section below and i will read every single comment make sure to like this video subscribe and watch again for the scenarios